Hey guys, I am Trent for Trent Sense, and I am here to show you guys an unboxing of the dual GPS and battery cradle made for the iPod Touch. Alright, and this here is the dual GPS receiver, battery pack, and car kit. For a long time, I've been dealing with uh, shoddy GPS performance on my Samsung Captivate, and I have not been able to take advantage of GPS tracking for my cardio runs outside. There is a listing here that you can track your speed, distance, and record your route with apps for running and cycling. So this is going to be a very interesting uh, turnout with this device when it's paired with my iPod Touch 64 gigabyte model. Another interesting feature that you will see here pictured with the car kit cradle is that I can also use my iPod Touch as a navigator on uh, times when I am driving. So um, this will inevitably take the place of my Samsung Captivate. Okay, now that I've taken the uh, sliding cover off of it, we have the box here. It says dual portable GPS and battery cradle. I'm going to sit it here on my desk and it opens like so. the cradle in my hand and uh, this part of the dual unit is what would hold the iPod touch and uh, what I like about it so far is that for its design it does feel fairly compact even though it would of course add a little bit more bulk to your iPod touch on the backing of the cradle you of course have the brand name and further down onto the left you have what appears to be some sort of speaker grill you have a row of four LED lights that work in association with a tactile button with a battery indicator on it. You have a toggle button that goes for the off position or GPS or battery. In GPS mode, you of course are using the GPS locator to track your signal. And then in the battery mode, you're basically charging the iPod Touch. You're going to have your headphone port, and then next to that, you have a mini USB port. You can see here that the front of the device, of course, has a bay in which you would slide your iPod Touch. And then at the bottom of this bay, you, of course, have the ubiquitous dock connector to connect the Apple device. You have two tactile buttons to control your volume to go up or down. This little speck on the lower right-hand part of the cradle is actually a microphone that can be used for voice memos and such with the iPod Touch. So in order to make my much thinner current iPod more compatible with this cradle, I would have to take this adhesive part and place it into the rectangle like so. Another important piece of this package is the holder that will connect the cradle to the windshield mount inside of your car. At the base of the holder, you will see that there are two plugs, one to go into the headphone port of the cradle and the other one to go into the mini USB port of the cradle. On the back of the car holder, you have two ports, one that goes into the auxiliary input of your car and the other one for the power adapter. As many of you already know, I still am having problems with my Samsung Captivate being able to get a quick GPS lock whenever I want to use Google Navigation. Um, in my opinion, it, there is just no excuse for it, especially after AT&T had released a software update that was supposed to fix the problem. Um, other than that, I am happy to have a GPS alternative that I can use for tracking my cardio runs for six miles every day. And um, I am extremely excited to be able to use the Nike GPS application for the first time with my Apple iPod Touch. I will, of course, provide a follow-up video as a review to the dual portable GPS and battery cradle. And um, I will let you guys know what I think. So with all of that being said, you guys take care and stay safe. And um, I am going to go out running.